Hi, I'm Wynn Richardson, producer and host of the weekly live stream show, Black Authors Matter TV. In addition to the show, we also provide tips for authors. And in this video, you'll hear from book club facilitators in different parts of the country on how to pitch your book to a book club. They'll tell you what they're looking for, what the process is, and that'll give you some helpful hints on getting new readers who are in book clubs. Hopefully, this video will be a learning instrument for you as you move forward with promoting your book. Thank you, and we look forward to providing you with additional information in other videos. Well, I chose to go seasonal because uh, the months of October through March, you know, that's the great uh, a great time to sit back and cozy up with the book. You know, you have your fall. Because it's cold. Uh, when we're not meeting in the months of, uh, during the summer months, that gives everyone an opportunity to, um, you know, travel or whatever. And then we also focus on our youth. We do a lot of things with the youth. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So do you, um, now do you have a youth arm of the book club? Do they read their own books? Well, we were uh, established as a nonprofit organization in 2002. Our mission is to uh, promote literacy. Uh, we do that by sponsoring educational events, literary events, and we also have some reading programs. So we're all about getting our youth to read more, spreading the love of reading, building uh, readers one book at a time. Wonderful. That sounds yeah. awesome. So your book club is, was your book club established in 2002? Yes, our book club, my book club was established in 2002. Uh, how we became established is a group of young ladies that I worked with. Uh, I sent an email out to them. We started out with uh, eight members, including myself. I sent them an email, so it was coworkers, asking them, uh, hey guys, are you uh, interested in uh, joining a book club? Because, you know, all of this got started with Oprah's book club. Oprah's yes. book club, and then um, I started uh, searching the word World Wide Web, looking at other book clubs, and I said, oh, I want to do that, too. I want to start a book club. So that's what prompted me to do that. And it just kind of caught on. It definitely caught on. Now, did, now the ladies who were in your book club, or let's, let's start off when you first started it. When mm -hmm. you first started the book club, I know you said you contacted people you worked with and friends and asked yeah. them if they would like to start a book club. Did mm -hmm. you all have a similar taste in books, or did everybody come from a different um, background when it came to reading and then you all came together? We all did have a similar taste of books. Uh, what we started to do as we progressed in the book club, I started giving everyone an opportunity to nominate the books that they're interested in reading. We have a book review committee that meets. Um, the members are asked to nominate their books in the month of August and once they uh, nominate their books, then the book review committee comes together and we take a look at all of the books that everyone has nominated and then we choose the ones to be voted on. Okay. What, what type of books do you all find yourselves reading? Uh, we read a lot of fiction. Uh, we don't really get into the autobiographies, anything like that. <laughs> you know, they grab you at the beginning is what we're looking at. Right. Okay. Now somebody asked, what well, Teresa Russell, what are you currently reading? Right now, we have not started. Uh, oh, that's why right. you're on hiatus right now. Yeah, so right now, we have nominated books for the season. Uh, as a matter of fact, the book review committee will be getting together on this Sunday to uh, take a look at all of the books that everyone has nominated, and then we'll go from there where the members will then vote on the books, and then we'll decide on what we'll be reading for the season. Um, I was actually thinking today to put a number on it. I'm not sure if we are... 24 years or 25 years. Um, if we're 25 years, sister friends, we got to party. We got to celebrate. If we're 24, then we got a little bit more time to plan it and hopefully COVID will be over with by then. Um, but I started it. I was actually pregnant for my first daughter uh, and she will be 24 in, no, she'll be 25 in October. So that's why we're either 24 or 25 years together. Um, we started it or I never shared it, but I have a very close family member who was going through a divorce at the time. Mm -hmm. And I started Sister Friends or just started the book club in hopes that she and I would bond over books. 
And um, I don't think I ever shared with her that she was the reason why I started the group, but it's gone on. We've had several members come and go, you know, like anything, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, any organizations. Uh, some have found different paths. We've had um, authors in our group as well um, who were new, up and coming, who were a part of the Sister Friends group and wrote books. Um, we meet like the second Saturday, and of course that changes around, uh, you know, according to everybody's availability. We, but we meet the second Saturday of every month and we discuss our books and we try to get together and just have fellowship, you know, and, and I say the group has evolved into a very close knit group of maybe 10 to 12 women and we have been locked for about seven years now. Nobody in, nobody out. <laughs> now, That's just the rule. I ask you, do you like to keep it a little smaller? Because there are some book clubs that have like maybe 20 or 30 members. Do you prefer keeping it small like that? I would have to say yes, because that's what I'm accustomed to. And the way that we have become with each other and grown with, with each other, sister friends is beyond the title. We're sisters and there's some cousins and there's some friends in there and we're all family and we lean on each other and, and, and push each other. And, and it's just a very close knit circle. And I don't think that I would ever be able to handle more than the group that we have right now. <laughs> you know, I mean, we could be wrong, you know, but at this point, our group of 10 to 12 is perfect for us. I mean, we're sisters. We love each other. We're there for each other. You all started your club in 1991. Yeah, 30 years ago. Wow. I remember, I remember purchasing the Go On Girl <clears throat> book club book that teaches you how to start your own book club. You bought one? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> I bought it back when I first joined the army. I went to a um to a big book festival. Actually, it was a big festival and they sold books. A big festival mm -hmm. in Indianapolis. And that, that book was there. So I grabbed one. Ah, we might have been there. You, I may have gotten it from you. <laughs> yeah. I remember when we were in Indianapolis. The Black Expo was like one of the biggest Black wow. Expos in the country for a long time. Um, I'm sure they, you know, they didn't do it last year like nobody did, but they've been around for years, years and years and years. So have you been with the book club since the beginning? I am one of the co-founders. I started the book club with Tracy Mitchell Brown and Monique Greenwood. So the three of us would sit at work, read books, talk about books. And uh, Tracy suggested that we start a book club. Yeah. And I said, okay. So we collected 12 friends. And it's very interesting that the 12 friends each liked different genres. And because they like different genres, that's how the book club was sort of formulated. So we don't read one genre of book, we read a variety of books. So everything from social commentary to mystery, we read it. So what made you all go in the direction of having chapters in different cities around the country? Because you have 51 that, chapters. And that's what I was going to ask too. What, um, how did this collection of what, 14 women, 12 friends plus, well, 15 plus you, plus the co-founders? So it was 12 of us initially. Okay. And what happened was one of our members, Evelyn, moved to DC. And when Evelyn moved to DC, she started a book club there. Oh. And then we had another member who moved to St. Louis. And we had a chapter that started in St. Louis and somebody moved to Philly. So as each member moved they wanted the same sort of sisterhood and they started chapters where they were that's how a lot of the sororities got started exactly yeah, every time a sorority moved she said we're going to keep this going yeah oh okay so i didn't even know about that but that's that's really good that that it transpired that way because you all have been around for a long time and you know, a lot of efforts, they start off and then they fizzle. 
So what's the what what was your staying power? Right. What's the key to the staying power that you all have had? I think a lot of it has to do with the the sisterhood. I mean, if you were to ever come to a Go On Girl Awards weekend, there's nothing like it. When we come together, we come together, we descend on a city. It's like people look around like, who are all these black women? Where are they coming from? What is this all about? We show up and we support. And I think it's that along with having uh, bylaws, having a group of women who want to see this organization survive and continue. We're now talking about what is our legacy going to be? We have junior Go On Girls. We now do conversations with authors and people in the publishing industry. We're doing reviews of books. So we try to keep things moving as opposed to being static. So we want to see things evolve and grow in terms of book publishing and supporting authors. Wonderful. Now, Faye Bailey says that you are 500 members strong now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Driven Divas has been around since March of 2010. And so okay. we, we've been out there. We're just a, a, a ladies group of eight. Uh, and we meet monthly. We read across all genres collectively as, as book members. And then we read everything else. But include that also includes from the Divas perspective, we do reading, art, dance, theater. We we attend all of that. Um, and how well, it's like a cultural club, sort of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, and we try to support, you know, as, as best we can uh, as, as a group. Again, we're, we're, a small, we're a small group, eight members, and uh, we just, we enjoy literacy. So uh, did you all start off as a group of friends who just enjoyed reading? You said, let's start a book club, or were you very intentional about wanting to bring a book club to your community? What, what was your why? Well, here, here is how we got started. Uh, seven of the eight members are ex at and employees, okay. uh, Southwestern Bell employees. And so we came together from that point uh, when we were in employee resource groups. So we had this type of, uh, how you would say, we, we would have this type of, uh, book, not to say book club, but everything that we could possibly do with the employee resource group that AT&T, that's one of the, that's our corporation, mm -hmm. that allowed us to have diverse meetings and, and things like that. So uh, we wanted to keep that up. We wanted to keep that up. Uh, we, we traveled across the United States with other uh, AT&T chapters. And so uh, we just wanted to keep that momentum going. And so seven of us, uh, possibly eight of us got together. Uh, we incorporated the chapter and uh, we've just been rocking and rolling. We've all now retired as well. So we, sure. we do our own things now. Okay. okay. So you all incorporated your book club. I don't know if I've heard about any other ones that have been on the show. I love that. that That's an incorporation. So is it a nonprofit corporation or is it like an LLC or? No, no, we're, we're non, we're nonprofit, non-for-profit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We just decided to stay together. <laughs> okay. So did you all do other um, like fundraising activities since you are a nonprofit? Are yeah. you able to like raise funds for literacy and, and like for books for schools or yes. do you have any activities um, like that? We, we have a signature uh, event that we host uh, uh, biannually. Uh, it's called Driven Divas Bowl on the Lane for Literacy. I love that. And, I love yeah, that. And authors uh, who we support and support us come 
and bowl with us. And we, so, you know, we have them on lanes with readers, our family members, uh, people who have, you know, wanted to be a part of the, the bowling league. And some of our members are, are excellent bowlers. So, you know, that's how that all came about. And we get the support uh, that way. I love that because it's, it's kind of a, it, you don't really think, I've heard of people doing um, fundraisers for with, with bowling. I've done bowling fundraisers, but bowling for literacy is something different. So it's like you took something that all of you enjoyed doing and um, paired it with something that you had a passion for. Absolutely. And we have their books there. So uh, even the people who are not joining us in our bowling uh, activity, they do purchase books. As members, uh, we support our own club. Mm -hmm. So it's our own funds. So we have these uh, baskets, you know, and uh, we support the authors with their books inside. We do candles. Uh, we do all of that for fundraising. Nice. So do the authors, they, um, they just kind of socialize with the readers and bowl with them and just have fun. And do, does the, um, the book signing piece or the book selling piece just kind of happen because people have been talking or do you make announcements and say, hey, make sure you support the authors who are here? How does that part work? Well, we do have our, our literature that, you know, announces who's gonna be there. Mm -hmm. We have their tables set aside we have their book signing table set aside with their books. Uh, we do interface, each member, you know, is responsible for an author or some of the authors. So we make sure that they have their books, uh, you know, ready for the, for the people to come and, and support them. And they are there to sign, to talk, to understand, you know, what, what their book is about. And it's, it's just, you know, we have food, we have, you know, we, it's just a, a very good time. That sounds fun. Mm -hmm. it, it is. Now, now, one of our viewers, Phyllis Dixon, asked, what's the reason you incorporated? What's the reason we didn't or did? No, you, that you did. Or did you incorporate? That's, you not, know, we, that's not common for a book We club. wanted to keep the continuity uh, of, of us together here in Dallas, Fort Worth. So that's you know, we just came together collectively and, um, you know, we, we got together as a group, uh, determined our bylaws, our, our, uh, our signature as to how we want to uh, handle the Driven Divas Book Club. And, um, you know, we've been trying to make, you know, establish ourselves better each year. Thank you for watching this how-to video and I hope it was informative for you. To keep abreast of the other how-to videos we post as well as our weekly live stream show, subscribe to our Black Authors Matter TV YouTube channel. Be encouraged and be blessed. Bye-bye.